Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal and Pasta from here. Today, we're checking out a game called Automa Chef, which is a game about creating autonomous kitchens in a factory style like conveyor belt and machines type situation. So, uh, let's hop into this. This is a first time I'm playing the game, so we're probably going to hop through a tutorial or something, get a feel for how things go. Give you guys an idea how the game plays if you've not played it before, and then we'll work through the campaign a little bit as far as we can get. And if you guys like it, you know, we'll play a, a couple more episodes. We'll just have to play it by ear and see how things go. While it loads, we shall please wait. All right, basic tutorial. Three orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 500 watt hours. Use fewer than 50 ingredients. All right, so we're going to create a burger of some sort. Hello there, fellow human being. Thank you for responding to my advertisement, helping me in setting up my new restaurant chain. Okay, fellow human there. Uh, my plan is to use fully autonomous kitchens to cut costs and crush mankind. I mean, um, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. The kind humans like us love to digest. Before we start in our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions and let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. All right, you can move the camera, WSAD, and we can do that here. We can cycle between camera positions using X and C. Okay, yeah, we can switch things around a little bit. Let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make a plain burger. We'll start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients into a finished product. Click on the assembler in the parts list and place it in the marked location. Parts can be rotated using Q and E. Uh, you'll need to rotate the assembler so that the outputs are facing the conveyor belt. Fair enough. And uh, we'll just go like that. There we go. We'll just shove it right there because that's exactly where he wants it. Great. Now right click on the assembler and select plain burger as the dish assembled. Okay. Let me right click. We're going to do a plain burger. We're going to hit OK. There we go. Before we place any more machines, let's have a look at the recipe to see what we'll need. Click on the recipes button to view the plain burger recipe. It is up here. And we need a burger bun and a raw patty. And we have to cook the raw patty into a cook patty, apparently. I'll let's see what it says here. Hmm, that burger looks good. My taste sensors, um, I mean taste buds, are going crazy. So the re recipe says we need one burger bun and one raw patty, which we'll need to cook. Okay, you basically said the same thing I said. There are some machines we can use to dispense, cook, and transport the ingredients. Close the recipes tab by pressing the OK button. Right, select the dispenser in a parts list and place two of them in the locations I've marked. Don't forget to use the Q and E keys. Okay, to rotate them. Okay, we understand how things work, all right? This is not our first rodeo. It's maybe our third rodeo. I don't do rodeos much, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, I've never been to a rodeo, okay? I've never been to a rodeo. All right, now right-click uh, right the top one and configure it to dispense burger buns. Okay, we shall do that. Make burger buns, good sir. There you go. Hit okay here. Uh, right-click the other one, set it to dispense raw patties. Take this, raw patty. Yeah. So now we have a source for raw patties. We'll need the means of cooking them. A grill will do the job. Select the grill from the parts list and place it in the location. Okay, we're going to put a thing, and it says it wants it right there. So that is where it shall go. Great work. Now let's get those ingredients moving. Uh, select the conveyor belt from the parts list and place them. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try if they let me start skipping about as much uh, text as they'll let me, because this is a lot of talking so far. Uh, conveyor belts cannot be directly feed into a grill or an assembler. We'll need to use robotics uh, to do that. Okay, well, we'll do robotics stuff. Robotics there, robotics there, robotics there. All right, we need to pick up the grilled patties from the grill and place them on an assembler. Robotic arm's done. We'll pick them up. Uh, okay, we need to use a smart one so that we don't put raw patties in the assembler. That makes sense. Uh, let's right-click on this one. Uh, let me see, the robotic arm smart isn't as intelligent, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I figured that. That's why I wanted to click on it. You weren't letting me. All right, we need the, what's it say, cooked patties. We'll kick on, click on the cooked patties. Yeah, you're going to do the cooked patty thing. Now we'll need to make a small test run of our kitchen. Let's see if anything works out. Let's see how everything works out. Click to continue. Click on the start button to set the kitchen running. We shall do that. And I think, yeah, there we go. We, we can turn it up a little bit. Our stuff is doing stuff. It seems to be working. We got plain burgers being mated. And being thrown right into an incinerator. Like, give them to homeless people or something. Come on now. Uh, congratulations, you've helped me achieve my first step in my plan for global dominance! By which I mean, of course, dominance to the fast food market. 
Of course, buddy, of course. Uh, next, let's look into making our machines more efficient. Join me again when you're ready. Okay. I guess we're just going to have to get ready. We have Chinese New Year update, new and tasty challenges with Asian twists for very experienced players. We're definitely not there yet. We're over here in the tutorial stuff, but I will look into this thing later on. Let's go ahead and see here. New restaurant, fully uh, revolutionary automated fast food diner to open in town this week. That is us. We're going to be fully automation off uh, wonderfulness. I wanted to say awfulness uh, with me in charge. It probably will be. Uh, let's see. Order reader tutorial. Five orders. We have to do things good and, and not be bad. There we go. Ah, oh, you're back. I was just converting oxygen into carbon dioxide, as we tend to do. Don't we, friend? Of course you're human, You're human, buddy. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to learn about how we make our kitchens more efficient, so we don't waste ingredients or energy. But first, I need you to finish this kitchen layout. Currently, its layout is suited for plain burgers, but I need it to produce cheeseburgers. It's always a good idea to look at the recipe first. Let's see what ingredients are needed and what machines we need to place. All right, so let's look up here. We need to make cheeseburgers. It's the same thing, we just need to add cheese. Fair enough. This recipe requires cheese, which needs to be processed into a cheese slice. Close the recipe and we'll do stuff and things will be good. All right, wait, this assembler already has two robot arms feeding ingredients into it, which is the maximum it can support. Oh no! We're adding cheese, which we'll need to transport to the assembler on the same conveyor belts that the burger buns use. Okay, so we're just gonna double up on the burger buns over here. Uh, the robot arm dumb is currently picking up burger buns and put on any ingredient, so we'll be able to place a cheese slice into the assembler too. Fair enough. Click on the dispenser in a parts list. I shall do that, and you'll tell me where to put it. Okay, you want it right there. We'll do that. I right click on the dispenser and hit cheese. We shall do that. You shall dispense cheese, my fellow dispenser friend. All right, now we need a food processor, which is here. I assume that's just going to go... Is that going the right way? It is. All right, good. And it uh, requires no additional setup. It'll automatically process stuff. Good. That's good to know. Right click on here. We have to change this to cheeseburgers, I'm assuming. There we go. You shall make cheeseburgers. Uh, you now run it, uh, start the kitchen, everything, see how everything works, press the start button, yada, yada, yada. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's see if we die a horrible death or if our burgers make it to the incinerator of wonderfulness. Uh, which I'm assuming they want. I don't know. Do, do burgers like going into incinerators? I imagine it's not that different from an oven to them, probably. I don't know. Or to our stomachs. I guess it's probably not good for them either way. Are we done doing this yet? Okay, I was wondering how long that would take. Uh, this kitchen has a flaw. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers. What a waste of ingredients and, more importantly, electricity! Uh, misuse of electrons makes me feel sad and angry. Ingredients are constantly being dispensed, and the grill is always on, even if no one has ordered a cheeseburger. That cannot be allowed! Uh, we can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are prepared only when an order comes through. Select the order reader in the parts list and place it on the location I have highlighted. Okay, we'll, we'll place an order, order reader and make you happy, buddy. It's okay. Right-click on the order reader and set it to detect cheeseburger orders. All right, cheeseburger. There you go. Uh, now that the order reader is detected whenever a cheeseburger order is placed, we can use it to control the four other machines. Wonder bar. Now select the new connection part. Okay. Click on the cheese dispenser. I shall do that. And uh, select do nothing, expand the control options. Scroll to the options to perform action one. Uh, perform action one times on new order. There we go. Excellent. Now select new connection part again. Okay, we shall do that. Uh, now we're going to do this raw patty. I assume it's going to be the same thing. So one time on new order. There we go. And uh, new, co new connection again. Check the burger bun dispenser. Okay, and I'm gonna have to do the one thing again. There we go. And new one here. We have to turn on the grill, right? Yeah, we have to do grill things. Turn this on while order is pending. All right, there we go. Click OK. Uh, great work. Now let's see what uh, what happens. Let's press the start button. All right, do things work as they should work? Let's see. I got it going at double time. We'll see what happens. It'll show us like how many things we're wasting and dishes delivered and all sorts of things. All right, is it gonna start going? There we go. Can you close your thing? Your thing is in my way, good sir. Your your thing box. Alright, let's go. It, it seems to be doing stuff. Um, our reputation's good, so that's something. 
I don't think it's producing more stuff than we need, so I think we're good. He's not yelling. All right, we did good. Efficiency, 90%. That is how awesome we are. Perfect. We vastly improved the efficiency of our kitchen. I knew you were the person for the job. I think it's time to start our first premises. The world won't know what uh, know what it's about to unfold. Wahaha. All right, yes, let's open our first restaurant then, shall we? Let's shall. I wish I had a name to call him. I kind of want to call him like Johnny Five or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just obsessed with uh, Short Circuit. And the world may never know. Uh, can I go up and down on here? Okay, I can scroll up and down. I was just curious. They keep wanting me to play this one, but I'm not there yet, all right, buddy? I'm not there. We're still doing a tutorial over here. All right, first taste. Deliver 10 meals. Keep electricity under 500. Blah, 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 blah. We'll, uh, we'll get it figured out one way or the other. All right, uh, 10, uh, 10 orders have to be fulfilled. Use four, four. All right, do good stuff. We're going to have to do good stuff, okay? The time has come. The reign of mankind's... Hunger is about to end here in our first kitchen. It's empty now, but think of the potential. Here's the plan. We scale up quickly, opening numerous kitchens and serving more complex meals as our technology grows. We gain the trust of the public, get some coverage, become a popular choice. Then when everyone is eating our food, well, you'll have to wait. We're probably going to poison them or something. I'm not really sure. Let's start simple, offering a cheeseburger and a plain burger. After all, we know how we can easily produce these. Now we just need to test them on the public and make sure they taste as satisfactory as they look. All right, so we know right off the bat, we're going to need two assemblers. Yes, I was just trying to be fancy, but we should know better. I'm not fancy. All right, we're going to put two of them that's like that. And uh, let me see what else we're going to do here. I'm going to take, I don't know, I'm going to take a, probably an arm to take it off the thing, right? And then throw it onto a conveyor. Can I get out of here? I don't want to be looking at that right now. Uh, let me see. I'm going to take a... Where's a dumb arm? Yeah, we're going to take a dumb arm. Let's put you right there. And just have a conveyor just coming right up here. There we go. That's going to take our yummy things off. You're going to make... Reg oh, excuse me. You're going to make regular burgers here. There we go. Uh, you're going to make cheeseburgers. There we go. And uh, to make regular burgers is pretty simple. We'll get that set up really quick. Let's see what we're going to need. We're going to need... Uh, I'm kind of working backwards a little bit, aren't I? Uh, all right, I'm going to keep working backwards then because I'm silly like that. We're going to need a smart arm here. And then a grill. And then another arm. This one's going to be a dumb arm. Can I go back, please? Yeah, let's go back to the dumb arm here. There we go. And then we're just going to need a dispenser. This is just going to dispense Krabby Patties. No, they're not going to be Krabby Patties, unfortunately. They're just going to be raw patties. There we go. I'm going to click on you. You're going to be putting out raw patties. There you go. Uh, you're going to be doing things. You're going to be looking for uh, cooked patties. That's what you're all about. Where are you at? Cooked patty. There you go. Uh, you're going to take cooked patties and you're going to shove them over here. Uh, this one's just going to dispense buns and then throw it on the thing. That's all we really need to do here. So let's just throw in a uh, dumb arm here somewhere. There we go. And I think I just need a dispenser like right here. Like, would that be okay if I just like throw it there? Can I just put burger buns here and you'll be happy? I think this will work just as it is. Can I have you uh, dispense on the left side? Yeah, that's fine. Should we put it on, like, normal mode or power saving mode? I don't know if they care which mode it's on. I'm going to put on power saving for now. Uh, we'll just see if that makes them happy or not. I don't really know or care, to be honest. And uh, let me see here. Okay, things are going to be a little bit different for the uh, for this mode here. It doesn't have to be super complicated by any means, though. Uh, let me see. We're going to do basically the same thing. Let's go ahead and get a smart arm. We're going to have the same electric grill type thing. I was thinking about how to save a uh, share electric bill, but being they're going uh, grill, except bill, I don't know why. Being they're going to different things, I think uh, different assemblers, I think it'd be more trouble than it's worth. Let's go ahead and get this thing here. And we're going to do the same thing. We just want a dumb arm. Like so. And a... Can I get out of here? There we go. We need a dispenser. There we go. You're going to dispense stuff. Uh, raw patty, there we go. And you're going to take cooked patties, because that is what you live for. Uh, where's the cooked patty? There we go. 
Looks a little burnt if you ask me, but you know, whatever makes him happy. Alright, so now this one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have an arm here. It's going to be a dumb arm though, I don't really care. Uh, we're probably going to have a conveyor belt of some sort, so let's get that. Do do do, where is the conveyor belts? There we are. I'll have you go this way. And we see, we need buns and we need cheese to be processed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw buns. Uh, I think we have to use an arm for the bun, then I think about it. Let's put down a dumb arm, because, uh, you know, people like their dumb arms, I guess. Where's, oh, there we go. Dumb arm. There we go. Put you right here, and we just need a uh, dispenser. You're going to dispense... Uh, not knowledge. <laughs> well, let's see, we're going to put buns on that one. And we're going to do a food processor right here. Let's, I had it the right way starting out. I don't know why I moved it. Another dispenser right here. And you are going to dispense cheese. There we go. And I think that's almost everything. We just need the thing that runs everything. Where's that thingy at? Order reader. There, we'll throw you, I'll throw you right here. You'll be like, can you not fit right there? There we go. I see, I need you to look. I need two order readers now I think about it. Hold on, let me get out of here for a second. I need two of these order readers. I'm gonna throw them right next to each other. There we go. I like how they're like old fashioned looking like computers with like, you know, magnetic tape and stuff. That's cool to see. Uh, let me see here. The first one is gonna look for plain burgers. And with your plain burgerness, which is the top line here, I'm gonna have to new connect. Uh, let me see here. You're gonna do stuff. With your plain burgers, you're going to dispense one times a new order, yeah? And uh, what else do we have here? You're going to dispense one time on new order as well. Wait, hold on. Did I not? Did I? Yeah, I need you to do this here. There we go. We're going to click here. One time on new order. There we go. And do we need anything else? Oh, yeah. We have to also have to do while order is pending on the grill here. Uh, you know, while order is pending, there we go. Alright, so that should be the basic burger, totally taken care of. I could have this thing set to do special things, but it's on power saving mode, hopefully it's good enough. This one, we're gonna have to look for cheeseburgers. And select connection to new part. We want this to dispense when, uh, on one time, a new order. We want this to dispense one time, a new order. Um, this to dispense one time on new order. And this to be pending on order. Yeah, there we go. I think that's everything. Maybe. Let's just, like, let's save it. That was a lot of stuff. We did a lot of things, okay? All right, let's get this going. Let's see how it works. Just put it at two times speed. Does it work? Or did I screw up everything? When are the people gonna come? Did I break things already? Are people coming? Are, I think they're coming. Okay, we got an order in. I don't know why it took so long for the order to come in. But hopefully we're doing everything okay. Are we doing good? Are people happy? Did we? Somebody has to tell me I did good. We're at 5 out of 10. Our energy use is going a little high, but I think... I think, you know, the worst is behind us. We'll be okay. There we go. We did good. First taste. Our efficiency is 100%. That is how awesome we are, people. I am very proud of us. We did good things. We did far better than we normally do in games like this. All right. So uh, basically it says we did everything wonderful and we're we're awesome and, uh, and we're, we're going to get, uh, you know, employee of the month. That is how awesome we are. Ah, uh, man, that was fun. Anyway, guys, we're going to have to end this one here. This one is called Automa Chef. I'll have a link down in the description. You guys want to check it out for yourselves. This one was in the uh, Humble Bundle Choice uh, subscription thing this month. And uh, it, it's a cool game. It was up our alley. I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, you guys are new to this channel is what I do. I play indie games every day on the internet for your enjoyment. I tend to play, uh, you know, base building games, especially, you know, automation type ones. Uh, tower defense games and vehicle engineering games. Those are kind of what we do on this channel. If you're into that stuff, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know how to put it in content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.